So today we're going to be hitting the trails with Mr. Bagel over here. Got some higher value treats as well to help with accelerating the, the process of him building a good positive association with the caller. And we're just going to work through some distractions. We'll start with some recall into heel practice. And just work from there. Pretty far away. Bagel. Good boy. Come here. Good job. Oh, good job. Here you go. Oh. Trying to. Here you go. Good job. Yep. Bagel. Up here. Good. There you go. You can kind of tell the difference in the uh, environment already has gotten him to um, not stick unless we, of course, prompt it, which is fine. We wanted to practice some, like I said, some recall uh, first anyways and some ping-ponging, letting him kind of get some, get some fresh air and exercise, stretch his legs. Bagel. Good boy. Come, come, come. Yes. Up here. Yes. Good job. Good boy. Okay. Free. Good boy. <laughs> what, you want to hang out now? You can go. Go. There you go. Just gotta keep an eye on him, make sure he doesn't get too deep into the woods or there aren't any snakes or anything around him. Boy. This is really good practice for him because uh, especially with beagles, their nose is the most distracting thing outside of his excitement for, for people, but we'll be practicing that at the, at the Lowe's or the shopping center later on too. Just wanted to kind of really switch up the environment from the, from the neighborhood because he's starting to do really well there. And I remember his dad was saying that he usually does pretty good anyways when there's less distractions so just trying to add in more distractions as he's getting used to the gear and holding good boy good job it's good he actually checked back a little bit on his own there Go ahead and do it again since he's pretty far out. I'm trying to wait um, until he's pretty far and his nose is in something, but not too long that the leash pressure activates, right? Good boy, come. Good job. Good boy. Okay, free. <laughs> free, come on. He's still, he's still a little bit uh, shocked by the by the beef, but it's nothing too bad. Good boy. You want to hang out for a bit, huh? Here? Good boy. Get here. Good boy. Good. Good here. Yes. Good boy. Very good, thank you. So I'm just reinforcing positively when he um, stops paying attention and then when he does again. Good boy, very good. Good job. And since he, he did that a few times, I'm gonna go ahead and reward him now. Good boy. Free.
Usually for like a, a little bit more formal of a release, I'll either have him sit first, give him the treat, and then tell him free. Watch out for people not picking up. Oh God. If he drops too far off to the back, I'll just use leash pressure to catch him up. Trying to do as much work with the, the collar as possible just to get him used to it. But we did do warm ups this morning with just his, his name and uh, the leash pressure first. Good boy. Pretty quiet out on the trail. Sometimes in the evenings when everybody gets off work, it, it's pretty busy with some uh, some runners and and some uh, some other pups but I figure we'll just start with just the normal distraction of all the smells and stuff for him good boy he's doing really good leash is unlocked and he's just hanging out with me out here on the trails good job big guy good boy Good job. And like I said, just periodically uh, giving him treats or a reward, but I'm always praising whenever he uh, he redirects his focus back onto me. Boy. Wait. Good boy, free. So what helps too is after I release him or, or free him, I'll also stop checking in with him as well with um, the hear prompts and the marking of his attention and we'll both just kind of walk. I'm still paying attention to him, but like there, as soon as he kind of leaves the position, I don't re-prompt it again or anything. And you can see without the positive reinforcement, he starts to check out a little bit more. And you know, just starts using his, his nose, stops like looking back up at us and things, which is fine. We're still in his uh, peripheral. And technically he's, he's free right now too, so. Now watch out for that thing. Good boy. Let's sit tight, bud. Don't know if it's poisonous or not. I figure usually like the really brightly colored ones are, uh, but you know, might as well not risk it. Don't want him or myself getting injured on the, on the walk here. But yeah, just some wildlife. That's why you always wanna just keep an eye out, make sure he doesn't go too far into the, uh, the woods or anything like that. Boy. Now, even though he's uh, still walking next to us, or, or he was, <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and get a, a treat ready because he's just been doing so good. And I will prompt him with the, with the here command again. Here. Good boy. Good job.
So you can see, especially at first, when you introduce him to new areas, he's going to want to run around and explore. Which is good. Um, just want to keep an eye out, and it's uh, just a good opportunity then to kind of warm him up and get the recall practice in. So when somebody's walking by, here, good boy. Here, good boy, good here. Good job, kid. All right. That's something that we practice. Oh, almost dropped the camera. And that's something that we practice in like the social settings to keep them to refocus and then having them maybe sit to greet somebody. Um, you can also use this if he does get too excited or jump up to um, correct or redirect him. You did the other day, but um, I haven't really had to too much. If so long as we um, we talk to the person and let them know that we don't want them jumping, uh, we can also give them treats to have them sit for it and things like that. Uh, he's been doing really well on that. Good boy. another warm day out but luckily there's plenty of shade on the trails coming up across the bridge though that's pretty open but not too bad I'll probably do either 15 to 30 minutes out and then back in and give them a little break and then we'll switch up uh, environments again Boy. Slow creek bed. I usually walk on um, pups on both the, the left and right side, but I want to try to keep him as used to being on the left as possible for his dad. Good boy. got a lot better at not overshooting too just because every time that he he does will either correct with um, resetting his gear position or with leash pressure um, haven't really done it as much with um, with the collar except for like uh, in the beginning the the recalls there but it would be the same thing just uh doesn't seem to be very necessary when you can just give some slight leash pressure uh, to get him to resituate and then prompt him with the, the hear command. Good boy. I know. Did you hear that? They're talking about you. It is right out. There you go. Good boy. Trying to block, block out the sun for him with the shadow. It's a nice little trail. Never gone all the way on it. Usually when working with pups, try to 
keep it to uh, under an hour or so. And it definitely takes more than half an hour to walk. He's doing much better than I thought. I figured he would be kind of like in uh, the beginning, a little bit more all over the place for a little longer. Especially considering this is our first, like, session, session of the day. He's usually got a little bit more energy. We just did the warm-ups this morning before heading out. <laughs> Good boy. He still does get excited when he sees other pups. Um, so just redirecting his attention early and getting him to, to face away and or stay. And then what I'll do is I'll just kind of um, keep extending the, the stay and the treats until either the pup is gone or until I get a chance to talk to the person, see if they, they want to meet or not. In which case, you know, then when he gets to engage, he usually has a good time. I was hoping for at least a couple people today, but really quiet. The weather probably doesn't help too much. So, I'm gonna take a quick breather myself here. I'll let him continue walking around. I hear some kids, I think off in the distance. So we'll see if their family is hiking and wants to catch up. Hi, big guy. I know. <laughs> Got water back at the car for you. Good boy. I was actually hoping he'd kind of want to wander around a bit to uh, to do a little bit more recall before we go. We'll see if he gets uh, gets antsy and wants to or not. And then I'll recall him back into the here for for going back. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely a lot hotter without the shade. I definitely hear somebody. Not sure if the microphone's picking that up or not. Somebody else isn't picking up after their pup, too. <sighs> you. Good boy. Good leave it. I don't know if they're going to catch up to us, bud. Right, let's get going. Get you some water. Good boy. I'm just getting really good at just naturally following, too, because what we'll do uh, when we have time inside is just having him kind of shadow me around. And every time I enter a different room, I'll, uh, I'll give him a treat. It's a good easy way to practice, especially if there's any days when there's inclement weather. You know, just positively reinforcing and uh, really solidifying the behavior of him wanting to be close to you and being close to you the vast majority of the time really helps. When we go on like uh, his, his freedom walks with, you know, his friends too or other pups, letting him being able to run around and smell it doesn't seem to be detrimental at all so long as you kind of balance that out with good formal practice every now and then too because um, he gets a lot of formal practice during his his sessions um, his playtime and stuff actually really helps to you know get the energy and the excitement out 
Got a couple more guys coming up. Good boy. Leave it. Good boy. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Good boy. Yeah, he's he's pretty chill. Like I said I think the the summer weather definitely helps with that. I'll um, get some some more practice in on in some AC later today. It's already starting to get pretty pretty hot out. <laughs> So here, when he starts to pick up the pace and he is out of track, oh, good boy. I was gonna say before he actually gets too far ahead or crosses me, would be another good time to reinforce the here, but he did it himself. He's been doing good though. I'm really glad we didn't have to um, use any harsher methods or corrections with him. He's a pretty sensitive pup, so that, that definitely helps. Usually with um, scent breeds and hounds, it can be really difficult to get them to um, get focus and maintain focus because of their nose. Even his ears are, good boy, are designed to help him scoop up scent. Sometimes there's birds and turtles and stuff around the water as well. I don't see any this time though. Okay. So we hear somebody coming up ahead on the trail. So I'll be ready to prompt him if necessary. Hi, how you doing? Good boy. You want to say hi? Hey, okay, do you want to say hi? Sure. Well, you're, you're making it down, easy on but me, aren't you? Oh, down. I'm so soft. Good boy, good day. Is it a beagle? Yeah. Okay. Down. I love the beagle next good door, boy. so it looks similar. Oh. So pretty. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Good job. <laughs> you did good. Just a little bit of leash pressure when he popped up. Just recalled him back. Could have used the uh, the collar too, but he didn't seem too excited. So, want to try to save the collar as much as possible, just so that way, like, um, his dad doesn't need it as much too. But it just really helps when when absolutely necessary to kind of get him resituated because he's still a little bit apprehensive of it. Not for that spider, but you're good. Um, he's still a little apprehensive of it even though we're trying to get, create a good positive association with it. So the less that we use it, the, um, the more impact that it still has, right? He's not like super used to it because we just beep it all the time or anything like that, right? We want it to kind of have value when it does an impact. Good boy, wait. Saddle. Got a little pup coming. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Saddle? You, is he friendly? No. Oh. <laughs> well, he's friendly, oh. He's scared of a lot of things. Oh, okay. He always wants to say hi to everybody, so <laughs> that's why. Sorry, bud. Hi. He's like, no. She jumped and barked at her, just being oh. friendly. Oh, there you go. <laughs> She's cute. <laughs> good boy. Have a good yeah, one. Yeah. Good job, big guy. I know. He can't say hi to everybody. Good boy. Yeah. 
So once again, if he did keep starting to pull, then, you know, either recalling him back with the command or the button there would have been good, but he was settling himself. All right, so sometimes giving him the opportunity to see if he'll, you know, be able to do the things that we, we practice first is going to be like a fine line, right? Um, good boy. But he, he did eventually kind of settle in and, and move back in. If you um, wanted to be more preemptive, like they, uh, luckily, you know, they said that you know, their, their dog usually doesn't like to meet other pups. Then as soon as he like left the, the sit or the heel next to you would be when you would um, buzz or beep his collar, get him back right away. Found something. I'll go ahead and lock, unlock this again. Okay, so the leash pressure isn't working right, so now we'll beep. Good boy, come. Good boy. Here. Good job. Good. Good job. That's a really good time to use it, right? Good boy, what'd you find, huh? What was buried there? <laughs> At least we got a little bit of practice in with uh, with some people and the pup. The good social social situations. Definitely get some get some excited still. But it's much easier to to control him and to ramp him back down. <coughs> Excuse me. Boy. It's a cool black butterfly. What do you think, bud? Good boy. Hey, good job. And like I said, just kind of periodically uh, ad acknowledging and rewarding him even when he's not um, placed in that tight here position. You know, it's still rewarding and acknowledging him every now and then for when he does follow his nose, but then redirects his attention all on his own. <coughs> trying to make it um, less obvious that I'm checking in with him and such. Got a little lizard there. You didn't even notice the lizard, but. <laughs> um, I was hoping that you would chase it or be interested, but I guess he didn't see it because he was looking at me, which is fine. But trying to make it less obvious when I'm looking at him, just using a little bit more of my peripherals too. Because sometimes I end up kind of prompting him to, <laughs> to recreate eye contact with me, like right here. Good boy. <laughs> Got some more people coming up. No pup though. Boy. Oh, they're turning off into the uh the creek there. Good boy. <laughs> it's funny, most of the time now when I look down at him, he's like just staring up at me. There's something in the water down there. We'll see if these guys are still close enough to the trail to distract him. Usually the order of operations 
um, if we're not just practicing the collar, for example, is like saying his name, then using the leash pressure, and then using the collar. Good boy. I have a gun. Good job. Yes, very good. You definitely saw them, but he, he remained composed that time. Try to always pretend like I have a treat in my hand, and sometimes I'll reach in and get one or not. But it makes it easier for him to focus sometimes when he thinks that you have one. So like one of those high um, distracting moments, like if another pup came by, it'd be good sometimes to kind of preemptively get his attention and get him to focus. Got another gentleman coming up here. Good boy. So here we'll try to <coughs> do it without and maybe a prompt if necessary. Good boy. Good here. Hi, how you doing? Good boy, very good. And then after maintaining focus and passing the gentleman reward, good boy. He's doing really well. I remember first time out in public with him, kind of like with the, the family and hikers there. Really depends on, you know, how they interact. And if they seem interested and want to engage with him, then he'll be more excited to also. But getting better at you know ignoring people when they don't show any interest in him like the last group of people there and the, the gentleman that was just walking by so a lot of it is going to be situational but you can always give him extra help if necessary so like if the kids or the parents are really interested but they're they're busy or they're moving by you know it might cause him to want to to, to engage good boy you all right it might cause him to want to engage so we might need to uh, recall him back a little bit. Uh, I think he hears the power lines. Makes a weird noise. Bagel, here. Good boy. There we go, good job. Got one more gentleman coming up. Good boy, good here. Morning. How you doing? <laughs> good, good boy. Good job. Yeah. So he's getting better if like they're not a, a, amping him up and causing him to be excited. Right. His self control is, is usually pretty good for calmer situations. But like if the other dog is barking and pulling at him, um, or kids are are yelling and running, it, it definitely ramps up the difficulty a little bit for him, but he did good. Good boy.